guys, it's a fear hunter, and I'm back again with more Nether. God, this... I just can't get away from this game, I'll tell you that much. Um, I've actually found a decent server today. 17 ping, that's not too bad. So I should have some good gameplay. Um... I'm just gonna... do my stuff. Try and communicate. Such a... Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. So, the main point I want to do with this nether videos is give the more unexperienced or people who haven't played this game some pointers on how to survive. Although it's quite a very simple concept. I'm going to try my best to explain things more so to new players and anyone who I gave beta keys to. <clears throat> For example, Alexandus. He's already played it a little bit, did a bit of a first look. And I did notice a couple of flaws. But that's majorly my fault because I'm not the best at teaching people stuff. So I'm going to try and do it through these gameplay videos instead. Okay. So, let's start with item scavenging. Uh, Alexander sorry, has already gripped this, but the main concept you want to do is keep an eye out for those smoke clouds. Either the long, thin ones or the big black ones that you see on the screen now. They both lead to high value loot zones. Um, the smaller one being campfires and the larger one being crash zones or as Alexander saw, burning fires. Basically these two areas are higher value, have higher value loot or they could have absolutely nothing. So really it's hard to tell if a loot area will actually have stuff or not. The main reason why it may not have stuff is because people have already looted it. And I think also a friend told me that there is less stuff for the amount of players on the server. So for example, a server like this with a small number of people may not have as much stuff to loot as And I just got killed by a bloody bandit. So that's another thing to keep an eye out for. Bandits. Basically the rule of the game, don't trust anyone. As you saw there, I got shot by someone. He looks, looks like he had an automatic shotgun so I didn't have a chance. He already snuck me one. So, what I'm going to do is put him in my head, Mr. Yeoman. Next time I see him, I'm going to put a bullet through his head. And I saw him near my little loot area near those triangles on the map. Alright. I don't have much to lose anyway. Just a medium backpack and a few guns that I already have in my inventory. Ha! He deserved that. You see him, he got killed by a Nethod just after he killed me. That served him right too. I'll teach him for trying to kill me. You gotta really be careful if you choose to be a bandit because your shots have a tendency to attract these little buggers to you. And if you're not prepared, they're going to wipe the floor with you. Especially if they outnumber you. saw me. Let me engage it. A tip with Nethers! They can be a pain to deal with. And their hits are quite deadly. And gunshots can attract nearby ones, so... What I usually do is, once I've leveled up the first time, I put my first stat point in melee. 
This gives you access to the blocking skill, which allows you to use your melee weapon as a defense. Basically, when because Nethers teleport, and those crawler ones, they're actually called crawlers. The crawlers have a tendency to try and teleport around you to try and get a an, an edge on you. So basically, when you're engaging them, when they tell when they go to jump into the ground, you want to hold your melee, right click down, and sort of walk around a circle like this. Then when they teleport, if you man if you manage if they pop up in front of you, you wouldn't see me. I just put my hand up. But anyway, they teleport in front of you and they'll try to make a hit. If they manage to hit you at the angle you're blocking, you won't take any damage from them. So, that's why I usually upgrade melee first. This is a tip for Alexander's mainly. And anyone else who didn't know that. Um, yeah. Another thing with Nether is don't engage them with guns. That is probably the worst thing you could do. Doing so increases your odds of being spotted by Nether or drawing other players to your position. The one thing you want to do with Nether is try and engage them with your melee as much as you can. So, the first thing you want to do is try and find a decent melee weapon. See, a kitchen knife isn't the best gun, or uh, the best weapon you can use. But it still helps once you've learned how to block. Once you've learned how to block, it's a lot becomes a lot easier. Hunters! Ow! They're probably about as dangerous as the crawlers, except for their extra ability. If you see that the middle of his chest there sort of opens up. If he, if you give him a chance, he will open up his chest and shoot out a, a rainstorm of spikes. Those spikes can kill you instantly if you're too close. But other than that, they're about as dangerous as the crawlers. But they can be. A oh, really? Come on, people! I'll let the Nethers take him. I don't have a gun to fight with. I hope people can't hear me. I did mute the voice, but who knows? They could probably hear me. I'm gonna try and be quiet a little bit here. I think I lost him. Oh, well, I didn't lose the nether. I'm not having the best luck in this server. I blame that goddamn bandit. I really hate bandits, honestly. They're annoying. I know it's part of the game, but they can be a real pain to deal with if you're not armed. Because some bandits just like to kill for fun. Oh, come on. This is getting annoying now. There he goes, he shot his spikes, but he missed. There he tried again. Let me try and get rid of the hunter. These ones are called hunters, by the way. If I didn't say that before. Alright, got that guy. Alright, so I don't think any player is trustworthy in the server, so that gives me the right to KOS or kill on sight. So anyone that I see, I will shoot. Because I don't think I can trust this server now that I've been killed once and engaged again. That just before. So, let me try and find a gun. That guy kind of had bad luck. He tried to engage me, but he didn't notice that there was a whole ton of Nether around waiting for him. 
so he kind of just lured them all to him. Problem is, when I ran off, I lured some to me. There's one behind that wall there, so I'm gonna go this way. I wanna get that other guy. Unless that was the same guy. He did get killed just after. I don't know, some people just find it fun to kill people. But then so Honestly. Go away! I mean, I don't mind it. It's gonna be a good EXP, but... They're kind of constant. Let me try and upgrade it. Okay, so... I've, you see, you see that I've put one on survival and another on another two on strength. The reason why you want to upgrade strength after you've upgraded those other two is that at level four, strength gives you an extra 250 health added on to your max, and that extra 250 is permanent until you get killed. Um, there's an outpost over here, so I want to make my way that way. Actually, I'm going to try and find... You know, never mind about the outpost. I only go there when I've got stuff to get rid of, or money to buy stuff with. you got to watch out for bandits at outpost too. Sometimes bandits choose to... I don't know, what do you call it? Guard it. And then try and pick off any survivor that comes through to try and get in. You'll see him sort of stand guard at the end, main entrance. Um, there's an outpost where it's only a safe zone in like a very small area. So people tend to watch, guard the entire outpost and block the way to that safe zone and then kill people that try to get to it. There's a lot of strategic ways that people can try and be trolls to other players. Especially people who team up. Um, you'll see survivors running around in pairs sometimes. They're probably usually talking on Skype or something to communicate with each other. Because the voice chat feature in this game is radio radial, so you can only hear a person's voice if they're nearby. That's probably what's luring those bandits to my position, they can probably hear me. But I did mute the voice chat. However, I'm not sure if that worked. Okay, we've got another campsite here. Oh, it's gone dark. Oh, it's actually very dark on this one. I don't know if the, the recording will probably brighten it a little bit, but... Um, I know Alexander tries to get to high ground when it's night time, but this is actually quite a good time to be stealthy. Um, it is dark, so it makes it harder to see. However, you can make yourself quite close to invisible to other players, or Nether. Unless Nether can hear you. So it's good if, you, if you're a bandit trying to find other players, you can sort of hide in the darkness and wait for an unsuspecting player to walk past or sort of just walk around really stealthily like always crouching stay down try and get in the grass and then when you find a player boom ok we've got a rooftop here Good place if you've got a sniper rifle. But I don't have any guns at the moment. Man. Man, was that something over there? Let me just jump down to this rooftop here. Good, didn't take any full damage. I thought I saw something. Maybe it was just a clipping texture, but. Oh no, it was this opening here. Oh, I thought I found something. Like a gun. Oh, that's a bit of a drop. Anything up there? How am 
like the items. Yeah, I don't have much. Hang on, let me reset my spawn. I've never actually done this. I don't know what it does. Ah! Oh, I see. It just allows you to switch to a new character. Oh no. It just sent, it just lets you start, it just lets you spawn somewhere else. Oh, I thought it let you start again. But apparently not, that is not what I was expecting it to do. So, well I've got a spawn reset safe on, safe in my little backup. Just in case. That's sort of sim similar to like a fake death. Like just randomly die. I guess it's a good way to get yourself out of tough situations. Say like you're being engaged by a ton of Nepha and you've got nothing to defend yourself with. That looks like a screecher, so I'll just go past him. They like to call upon other Nepha. They're known for that screech they do. Oh, melee weapon. 290, 200, yeah, that's better. Let me drop my knife. Give me a baseball bat. Smack some Snether up with. Um, where to go next? <sighs> Ugh, cigarettes. Nothing but sellable loot in this server. There's like no one in this server anymore. That's probably why there's not much stuff around. Let me try and find a bigger server. Let's jump out for this for a sec. Alright, I'll be back. Alright. Mm, ping's not as good in this one, but... Oh well, there's more people in it, so that'll do. That's enough to make me play it. I don't do too bad with higher ping. As long as it's not ridiculous. As long as I can smack up Nether with melee weapons and kill people if I need it. Nothing here. Hang on, there's a little campsite over there. Sometimes, some, 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 yeah, sometimes be good stuff here. Don't think this one has anything though. I do hope they fix that server issue. I don't like playing with a lot of high ping. High ping's pretty deadly. You get anything more than about what I've got now, 48, 48, 50. Um, it becomes quite difficult to deal with Nether because of the lag response. And it makes Nether more, it makes the Nether more dangerous. And makes it a lot harder to kill players. If they have good ping and are engaging you. Ooh, church. Church has good stuff sometimes. If there's not a player waiting for you. It's a it's a place where people can hide and wait for players. That's quite cooped up. But if you're lucky, you can get some stuff, a good amount of stuff from there. People usually like to hide in this park too. I can't do much other than walk in with a bat till I can pick up a gun. Nothing here, I don't think there's going to be much of the church either. Doesn't look like there will be. Sometimes you can find shotguns and some sidearms in these trucks here. This area is also good to find the, ta uh, what do you 
call it? The automatic shotgun. Can't can't put my finger on what it's called at the moment. No, nah, nothing at the moment. Um, there's some stuff over there. Sometimes. Streaker over there. Nerf will like to hang out around here too. What's that? Oh, got ammo. What ammo? What are we for guns though? There we go. There you go. Has three. Twelve gauge ammo. Oh sweet. Nine millimeter ammo, perfect. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. Lopes 45S. Little subby. Reaper. This little gun here. Not very strong, but quite fast. Good if you got a good amount of ammo in it. Won't do much for players. That won't do much for engaging players though. Unless you got some good ammo in it. It's a good gun that you can carry around if you don't have anything else. Good for Nether as well. I'll try and go around this guy. There's another one over there. By the looks of it. There he is. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, ooh. Let me see if I can separate those two. Get that hunter away from this guy. There we go. See, so I got the crawler. Come here. There he is. Okay, all these over there, I'll come in here. Oh. Already got one of those, so I'll just unload it, put it back on the ground. There's a screecher over there. Okay, we'll take over a walk over to that one. Let me just pull out my Uzi here. I see you there. He looks like he's by himself, so I'll engage this one. Got a hit on me. Pretty close to no ammo. I um, mean, not ammo, no health. So I'll have to resort to shooting now. Hang on, there's a safe zone there. I go. Way to tell if there's this is the place I was talking about. One way to tell if there's players around is sometimes those little 
harmless snapper can be roaming around here. There's a player waiting to shoot you. Usually that means that there's no none of those little guys walking around. But I am made, made it to the safe zone. Sweetie. Let me just see what I've got here. There's some ammo from a gun, but I don't have enough health to worry about that. Let me put my bat away. Oh, I've got nothing else really. Ammo with me, put that back. Just getting rid of some unnecessary ammo. Don't need my shells. Don't need to put any shells away. Yeah, let me just kill myself here. Ah! Alrighty. I think that will do for now. Um, I hope my tips help you with playing Nether, mainly to Alexandris. But for now, I'll leave it at this and I'll come back for part four. So, enjoy your fears guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.